and we're back with some more trigonometry. One of the most important things in trigonometry in terms of getting started is to understand the relationships of the sides of, in right triangles for the two special right triangles. You should have learned this in geometry, but it certainly bears reinforcing because we're going to be using them quite a bit. There are two very, very important special right triangles, and we need to talk about the relationships of the sides in these right triangles. Let me draw two right triangles here. My first one is going to look like, let's see, we'll do that, and we'll do this, and we'll finish it off. Not drawn to scale, mind you, but we're going to call this a 45-45-90 triangle. That means that both of these angles are 45 degrees. You should know from geometry that this is an isosceles triangle, meaning that these two angles are congruent to each other, and that because those two angles are congruent to each other, there was a rule that said their opposite sides are also equal. So these two sides have to be the same. It turns out that if the length of the s one of the legs is x, again, actually both of the legs would be x, wouldn't they? The length of the hypotenuse is x radical 2, x times radical 2. We could show that with uh, the Pythagorean theorem pretty easily. Um, we're not going to show it now because all we're really interested in is the relationships of the sides. Sorry about that. Um, so, what's really important though is that we can draw this triangle um, with a special hypotenuse length. I'm going to redraw my 45, 45, 90 triangle. I'll try to make it better to scale this time. That looks a little better, I guess. Okay, and this time we're going to talk about what happens when the length of the hypotenuse, here's my right angle, when the length of my hypotenuse is 1. This may not matter to, this may not seem important to you right now, but it is actually very, very important as you'll see very soon. Uh, what happens if the hypotenuse is a length of 1? What does that mean about the length of the two legs? So let's talk about it for just a second. Shouldn't take that long. It should be obvious to you, or maybe not, but let's explain it, that when you go from the length of a leg to the length of a hypotenuse, what do you do? You multiply by radical 2. You multiply by radical 2. So it's x times, perhaps I shouldn't use that symbol because that's the variable we're using. Okay, It's times radical 2. So what if I want to go the other way? If I want to go from the hypotenuse, well, let's use a different color here. Go from the hypotenuse, from the hypotenuse, oh, it's messy, but that's okay, I think you'll get it, to the leg. Well, if, when going from the leg to the hypotenuse, we multiply by radical 2, then I hope you can see that to go from the hypotenuse to the leg, we divide by radical 2. So what does that mean in terms of our right triangle over here? Again, this is a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. If I want the length of one of these legs, I'm going to have to divide by radical 2. I'm going to have to take that 1 and divide it by radical 2. Now, I think you probably remember from Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 that we don't like to have radicals in denominators. We, we like to rationalize those denominators. And that meant, as you might remember, multiplying top and bottom by the radical that's in the denominator. 1 times radical 2 is radical 2. Radical 2 times radical 2 is 2. So what we're going to say then is the length of the two legs of a 45, 45, 90 triangle that has a hypotenuse of 1 is radical 2 over 2. And both sides are the same extremely, extremely important relationship here. Okay, now let's talk about our other important special right triangle, and that is the 30-60-90 triangle. 
So I'm going to draw that one. Let's say here we got it there. There we'll try to do this better in terms of scale. There we go. Pretty decent. So now I've drawn for you here a 30 60 90 triangle. The relationship for the sides here is if we start with the smallest side and you might remember from geometry there was a rule, the triangle inequality theorem, that said the shortest side of a triangle is opposite the smallest angle. Well the smallest angle in this triangle is 30 so our shortest side is going to be this leg right here. So we're going to call that one x. Turns out that if the shortest side is x, the value x, then our hypotenuse is twice the length of that short side. And we could actually use again the Pythagorean theorem to determine what the length of my third leg is, but it turns out to be x radical 3. The uh, value or the, the measurement of the shorter leg times radical 3. So we're going to do again what we did with my 45-45-90 triangle with this triangle. And that is, I'm going to redraw it here quickly. There we go. Whoops. All right, so I've redrawn my triangle. Again, this is my 30 degree angle. And this is my 60 degree angle. And my question is going to be, what if the hypotenuse is 1? Again, this may not seem clear to you why we're doing this yet, but trust me, it will. All right, so let's take a look at the relationships of our sides. We have said that the length of the hypotenuse is twice the length of the short leg. So I multiply by 2 to go from my leg to my hypotenuse. So if I want to go backwards from the hypotenuse to the leg, what do I have to do? I have to divide by 2. I have to cut it in half, don't I? Okay, so let's do that. So if my hypotenuse is 1, then that means the length of my shorter leg has to be half of that, or 1 half, 1 divided by 2. And then we, kn we know that the length of my longer leg is the shorter leg times radical 3. We have to multiply by radical 3 to get the longer leg. And if we do that, I hope you can see that when I multiply 1 half times radical 3, I get radical 3 over 2. So remember these numbers. Really, 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 really important numbers. They are radical 2 over 2, 1 half, and radical 3 over 2. You're going to see them appear again very, very soon. I might also point out to you that you can also turn this particular, and we're going to need to when we uh, get there, you can also turn this particular uh, triangle on its end so that we get something that looks like, make sure I draw this properly, I know it's red, but that's okay. Okay, so that this is our 30 degree angle down here. This is our 60 degree angle up here. And if you do that, the sides remain the same. This is 1, this is 1 half, and this is radical 3 over 2. So we can orient that um, triangle any way we want, but the relationships between the three sides will still remain the, remain the same. So remember your 45, 45, 90 triangle and your 30, 60, 90 triangles because they will be making a reappearance very, very soon. Thanks.